some, some very, very fine people who are here tonight. tonight. Everyone, please give a hand for Illinois State, State Senator Laura Fine. Fine. Thank you, Laura, for being here. here. Now, now, Senator Randall wasn't able to be here, here but, he but he actually called me and, and told me to tell everyone that he really, really wants, wants to be here. So, we appreciate that. that. And, and Let's, Let's welcome, welcome Representative Jennifer Gunn Gershowitz. Gershowitz. And, and let's welcome LSA Senator Kevin Odegaard. Where is he? Oh, Kevin, thank you for being here. Appreciate that. Let's welcome Cook County Commissioner Justin Marina. Welcome. Where are you? Okay. She was here? Okay. And of course, let's go to the mayor, George Anderson. Let's welcome Village of Skokie trustee, Ralph Klein. Thank you, Ralph, for being here. Let's welcome the Village of Skokie trustee, Allison Pierce-Lumberman. Thank you, Allison. Let's welcome the Skokie Park District Redeployed to the Jewish Federation Deputy Director of Security. So, thank you, Chief Baker. It's so important that all of these government officials are here because this helps us, the Jewish community, know that we are safe and secure right here, even during these difficult times. Thank, Thank you, you so, 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 so much. So much. <laughs> at this point, I can call on my father, Rabbi Posner, to share, share some, some words of Torah. Torah. Happy 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 everyone. Happy 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 the answer is, answer is with all the previous years we commemorated a war one in the distant past. And this year we're witnessing daily miracles in the ongoing war. Because to us, let's admit it, we know Israel's not more powerful, more powerful than 20 Arab nations with millions of soldiers. It's not more powerful than all the nations of the world represented by the UN or on the soul on the side of Hamas. Now, this was winning despite all of them is a miracle. That America has spoken with such clarity that Israel's right to defend itself and is following up those words with actual support is also unprecedented, total miracle. That there have been so huge casualties, even though every life is valuable. In fact, there have been so few, even despite the difficulties of urban warfare, against an entrenched enemy, tens of thousands of terrorists who've been building their defenses, their tunnels, their booby traps for decades, is also a miracle. No, no army is so smart. smart. No, no government, government can devise such perfect, perfect battle plans. What we're, we're seeing is a miracle. At the, At the same, same time, we're painfully aware of those who are suffering, suffering. the hostages, their, their families, families those who were mourning the loss of their dear family members and neighbors on October 7, the families of the fallen soldiers. We also feel the pain of the residents of Gaza who are witnessing the destruction of their homes and neighborhoods as Israel eliminates the rocket launchers and tunnel shafts and IEDs and weaponry that Hamas has embedded in their midst. No matter how careful, no matter how precisely they target, the fog of war will be a loss of life as well. Panic is not primarily about military victories, but about confronting darkness and dispelling its with ever-increasing light. 
The world, the world may seem darker dark this, this year after October 7th, 7th, 7th than it became last year. year. The corruption of anti-Semitism on campuses and schools and the streets of our cities seem dark and foreboding. But the darkness is overcome with light, with more, more light. We see, we see the light when good people stand, stand up to the hate. We see, we see the light when people resolve to identify more strongly, more openly, openly as Jews or with, with Jews. I look, I look pretty, pretty Jewish. Jewish. I've been amazed by the number of non-Jews who come up to me to express their support during these times. It's amazing to see how many Jews have taken to live more Jewishly, display their Jewishness proudly. And that light will overcome the darkness. When you turn on the lights in a dark room, you may discover cockroaches scurrying away, or even rats. No, I'm not here in Skokie, but I understand that Chicago did a lot of them. Expressions, expressions of anti-Semitism are just the cockroaches and rats being exposed to the light, so we hope they are. We will, we will continue, continue to add, add one, one more light each evening, bring, bring more, more light to the world. world. Each additional light reminds us that we need to act, to, to add, and act with goodness and kindness. And and together, all, all our actions of good and of light will dispel all the darkness, to turn the darkness to light, and the night into day. Light and act visible, may we soon merit the light in the mirror with pure oil, the rebuilt holy temple with the coming of Mashiach. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rabbi Bosner. Now, now we're going to ask Mayor 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 to share a few words. Thank, Thank you, you, Rabbi. Rabbi. Uh, I'd, I'd like, like to, to uh, introduce uh, my wife, Susan, Susan. and uh, uh, our Director of Public Works, Max Langer, is here. You, you, want, you, you want, want to thank, to thank Max, Max in about a month when, when, you, when we've got, got about an inch, inch or a foot of snow. It's Max who's in charge of taking care of that. Max, thank you. And, and I do want to particularly reiterate what Rabbi Postner has said in his introductions and thank our police chief, Brian Baker, for 30 years of great service to the village of Skokie. Brian, thank you. And as the Rabbi said, he's not retiring, he's just being redeployed, and he's going to be working with the JUF, with all of the synagogues in our area. And this is a time when we do need experts helping us with security. So Brian, thank you for your continued service. And on Hanukkah, I think it's appropriate to thank our partners in the state, state assembly who are here, the county who are here, our park district, we all work together in Skokie. We are all Jews, we are all Skokians. And I thank all of you for coming out tonight to show your spirit of unity, your spirit of thanksgiving. Thank you for everything that you do for our community, day in and day out. Thank you. I appreciate having the opportunity to be with you, Rabbi. So not everyone knows this. You see, in some cities, public works does things like snow removal and garbage collection, and they deal like with waste and with flooding. In Skokie, public works deals with menorah installations. <laughs> not everyone knows this, but me and Max, we know this. And now you guys know this. This big menorah over there was installed by Public Works, so thank you, Max, for your support every single year, also for like the last four bajillion years since this started. Bajillion isn't our number. So, who wants to make the darkness a, lit, a bit more light? Should we do it? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's light the menorah. So, Rabbi Reichsus, we need you to come up, please, and light the menorah. Baruch Atah Adonai, 
رايحين روم مبخا علام عشر كدشانو بميت فايسا وتيبانو لحرك نير خانوكا باروخ عطا دايناي اوهي هينو مبخا علام I just wanted to make an announcement. Um, so uh, I'm just like an everyday ordinary person and the CIA has the ability to get into people's minds and bodies. And it's something called telepathy, and it's something that they've been doing. And unfortunately, the uh, news people haven't been able to respond. And I've escalated it to many government groups, and I still have not received a response. So if you guys could certainly escalate to your congress So I hope that the news is uh, capturing that information as well. So the CIA has the ability to capture people's brains and bodies what do you through telepathy. Thank you so much. Are you part of the news? Are you part of the news Now, let's sing something in Yiddish. Yeah. Anybody here speak Yiddish? Yeah. All right, okay. Now in English. Oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, come by the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Gather round the table, we'll give you a treat. Dreidels to eat, bevats kiss to eat. And while we are playing, the candles are burning low. One for each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. 
One for each night they shed a sweet light to remind us of days long ago. And now, everybody's favorite Hanukkah song. Number one Hanukkah song. Off the charts. Ready? I, you know the song? I have a little dreidel. I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, oh, dreidel, I shall play. Wait a minute, people. A clay dreidel? No, everybody knows. The finest dreidels that come from Louis Vuitton are made of plastic. I have a little dreidel, I made it out of plastic. And when I spin my dreidel, I always feel fan. The people in this crowd know how to rhyme so well. I can probably throw any word at you and you can rhyme it, right? Let's try. Okay, so how about a wooden dreidel? I have a little dreidel, I made it out of wood. And then I went and spawned it, and it spun just like it. Sure. Skokie has the smartest people. It's amazing. Okay, let's try one more. Let's see how well the people of Skokie know how to rhyme things. So, I have a little dreidel. I made it out of metal. And it didn't spin at all, so I put it in my tea kettle. Oh, okay, let's do one more. I have a little dreidel. I made it out of mud. When I mud a mud yeah, a mud dreidel. When I went to spin it, it fell down with a thud. All right, enough silly songs because we have important things to do. So we're gonna go now and light the big menorah over there. Over there. So we're going to ask everyone to follow the Dreidel Man ma mascot. Dreidel Man leads the way to the menorah. Two. We're going to go there and light the electric menorah. We're going to ask the officials over here to step over and help put on those light switches. So representatives and commissioners and board members and directors. What? Maybe the mayor? Oh my God! Yeah. 
dancing show so there is cool things in your future people everyone please gather near the truck for the great gelt drop
kind of camera is that? It's a Sony camera. Oh, like nice. cameras? I, I I have my cameras in. I got a. Yeah, I got the yeah. A7 III. Oh, you're a Sony guy. Yeah. A7 III, that's a nice one. I'm a very big Sony guy. I just got a Lumix, so I'm like... Yeah? Yeah. Sure, I've got a Oh, the Lumix G9. What made you, uh, you know, try something different? It was... It was 600 bucks. The guy didn't want it anymore. Ah, uh, I see. And he was like, I got a different Lumix. And uh, ended up freaking... I said, let me put it in. And it was like, with a with lens. Kit, lens. That's a great price. Yeah, I was just like, I can't complain. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Oh, God. Yeah, it's really gold. <laughs> I made a mistake not wearing gloves. I, you, you know, this looks like a thin coat. This? You're the thin guy. I have a thin coat. Ah, I see. Oh, it's last one. Oh, my gosh. That doesn't look too thick either. I'm freezing. <laughs> Do you guys are dead, right? you have to have like a certain name for your group or is like Aloha Chicago. Huh? Aloha, Aloha Chicago. Chicago. Aloha Chicago. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna last too much longer. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, who wants to see the Fire Dancer Show? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you or do you not want to see a Fire Dancing Show? Because I just tell you, if you don't want to do it, Rosie, 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 I'm here, I'm here. I'm here, don't cry, okay? I watch you. Who wants to see a fire dancing show? Hi, Joe. I'm sorry, please. Because we're going to be on stage and fire around where people are hanging out. We want to So, make this a little bit of a wider space, a little more. A little more, a little more. A little more room. A little more room. That's right. I mean, after all, the police chief is here. It's like, what are we misbehaving now? Okay, so. A little more room. Okay. You ready, guys? Can you look up? Okay, we got this.
Thank you. That was amazing. Thank you to the amazing fire dancers. Thank you, everyone who helped make tonight so successful. Thank you, Michelle Alvin, the Posner family, the Belson family, Michelle Bromberg, and all the great people who made this event possible. We couldn't be here without you. And now, as you ready? Let's raise the volume.
local. I'll try to get it. Uh, maybe I'll do it live or film it. Sure. You're promoting it right now? Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking I'll get one from Thank Merv. You. That's me. 
All right, so I have yours, right? Yes, sir. All right, man. Yeah, this man's always with his camera. It's in my car right now. Bro. Yeah. What, do you like to, what do you like to shoot? Like? Everything. Really? Everything except cars. Unless except it's cars. video for cars. I, can't, I hate taking pictures of cars. Because it's too fast or what? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I can slow my, my, my stuff by like 17%. So it gets super slow. Doing fire is hard too, though. Yeah, no, you're telling yeah. me. Doing yeah. hot fire is hard. Yeah, I, I always see people who do the, 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 the photos of it. Like, they're always complaining. It's so well, hard. Because it's dark. Especially for get, us, so we go fast, yeah, that's hard. Get good, you have to get a good ISO level. You gotta get high up. Dude, it's just terrible. <laughs> like doing fire is my my most least favorite thing ever. But yeah. Did you get any cool things? Did you get any cool things? Hopefully. Hopefully. I, I was just filming, so the pictures are probably like nicer because you can like you, can you know see. you can freeze it, yeah, like get it yeah. nice again, like the cool motion stuff. Yeah. But I was just straight filming, so that's no problem. Yeah, I do. I <laughs> are you more photography or video? You said it's well, three, so okay. So nice. well, okay, it's it's. I'm getting more into videography right now. Yeah. But I was super big in photography. Nice. I still am, but like, if you look at my my videography kit, it's like, like I just got a flash for like, for my photography and like a couple of like lights, you know. But it's right. not as extensive as uh, other. Yeah, I just really started getting into it like this year, like literally yeah. this year. So I'm pretty new to it. Um, just just totally for fun, you know. It's yeah, really yeah. fun. So I, I actually meet a lot of people just filming. So yeah. they're like, oh yeah, like, you know, I'm at, like, yeah. I meet a lot of like film guys, surprisingly. Like, guys who are like actually develop films. Oh, really? Like, like the, the old yeah. ones? Yeah, that's becoming of a, a, a it's like, like 35 millimeter film. Yeah. It's like, okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah, cool. they'll, they'll, they'll like develop them. Like, it's cool, it's nice. But like I need to see it right after. It, it's gonna drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely like very like connoisseur, oh, like yeah. niche type stuff. Yeah, like it's like making your own beer almost. It's, like it's make, very like it's yeah. very it's nice though. It's good. Like it's it's a cool hobby. I, I mean, when you do film, you like only have like that one. You only have like one chance. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you're not gonna take like a hundred photos. You're gonna take like one photo of yeah. like. Each yeah. You know, I know it's you, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So I got your Instagram, so I'll be following you, man. Alright, awesome. Well, I'll catch you later. I'm out of here. Take care. Thanks a lot. Tribune. Tribune. Ah, very nice. Awesome. 